It is finally revision day. I am running a little late as usual. I just wanted to show you a quick video of what Dr. K is revising. I still can't believe I was late because I literally woke up at the crack of dawn trying to figure out what to wear. Anywho, let me hit the road. I will see you guys soon. I was on straight mom mode today. It is now 10 p.m. So I'm going to give you a little update on how my first day went after my revision. My revision was about 30 minutes to 45 minutes long. Me and Dr. K freaking chopped it up and all. Like I thought I was going to be like, oh, it's blood and gore. I'm going to pass out on a table <laughs> or the chair, whatever you want to call it. I get very squeamish with certain things like that. So for me to see like I took pictures of of the incision and I took pictures of my skin that was getting cut off. I took pictures of him suturing. Because of tension. So okay. it still has a little bit of tension in it. Okay. That's why it does that. Where it opens up more than what the scar was. That's For me to do all of that and not be like squeamish, I'm like proud of myself, honestly. <laughs> but Dr. K is not just a good surgeon. He is a good person, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Honestly, like, he's a great guy altogether. Conversations were just flowing throughout the whole time. He was chopping it up with my husband until he left, and then we had our own conversation. I got done around 1 o'clock. I got there a little late. I was supposed to be there at 10 a.m. I got there around 10.25 a.m. He numbed the area with numbing cream first, and then numbed the area with the local anesthesia to numb my scar area in the front. Before he did all of that, he checked to see if I had dog ears. So the whole entire procedure took about 30 to 45 minutes. He told me everything that I need to do. Don't shower, don't lift for two weeks, don't do any type of exercise for one or two weeks. Don't do any corset training because you know that I was corset training. I did take a little break from that because I knew I was going to get my revision. If you wanted to get your, your true beautiful ha afterwards because I'm getting custom stage three. So definitely stay tuned for that. If I wanted to do all of those type of waist trainings and like compression and stuff like that, definitely wait a few weeks. He also said don't lay on my side. Definitely prop myself up for a few weeks as well. After I left the office, I initially didn't feel any type of pain. I was pretty numb. I was very jittery. That's the only thing I can complain about. I mean, I didn't really eat much this morning I had a croissant so that could be another reason why but he also said that's one of the symptoms the local anesthesia so I was already expecting that and my body I really don't take any type of medicine or drugs or anything like that me and my husband we got our alligator nuggets because we've been looking for gator nuggets for God knows how many times that we went to the DMV area <laughs> We chilled, we chopped it up, and we drove home, literally the entire way home. Keep in mind, I live in Jersey, so it took about two hours to get home. I didn't feel any type of pain. I came here, I spoke to my mother-in-law. As soon as she left about 15 minutes later, so I'm gonna say like 3.15, is when I started feeling burning sensations. I didn't feel any pain whatsoever, but it started to like burn. Say if you like, when you were a little kid and like you fell off your bike and you got a little scrape and you feel the burn, but it's like a pulsating burn, it's not really like like, oh my God, I'm in pain, I need like the ER or whatever. If you know what I'm talking about, that's the type of pain that I was feeling. Two hours later, then I started feeling like more of a pulsation, if that's a word, fuck. A pulsing type of pain, but it was nothing like alarming. Like, I was on straight mom mode, so that was the last thing on my mind is any type of pain like whatever I'll deal with it getting my daughter dressed and ready to go for bed reading her bedtime stories around nine o'clock so what is that about eight hours after my procedure is when I started feeling pain keep in mind I haven't taken any type of pain pills or anything like that me trying to get out of my daughter's bed yeah shit is about to go down <laughs> I texted Dr. Cortesani as soon as my daughter fell asleep. I was like, listen, I was on mom mode all day. I'm sorry for the late text, but I am feeling some type of pain. My pain is about like a six out of 10, but I do know that I need to pick up my antibiotics for sure. He was able to send me my prescription for my antibiotics, but if I wanted any type of pain pill prescribed to me, I would have to go to my PCP. I couldn't even find my Tylenol PM to even try to take it to see if that was gonna like soothe my pain somewhat. In my search of looking for my Tylenol, I found my oxys. So I took a half of that pill and I'm like praying to God, like I don't like zone out or anything like that. Cause it's like, 
something serious. As for the area that I got revised, it's obviously in surgical tape and dressing. You guys know I can't keep surgical dressing on for too long. My skin is very sensitive. Dr. K wants me to keep it on for at least a week. And it didn't bleed for too long after my procedure, but I kept the pad on just in case. I'm having like a hard time falling asleep because this annoying ass burning sensation is overcoming my exhaustion. I'm so tired, but like the incision, this is like more than I felt from the initial mommy makeover. I do suffer from insomnia, but God damn. <laughs> it burns, it burns. Good night guys. Good morning. So after I started complaining last night, I passed out within like 10 minutes. I woke up around 6 a.m. and the burning sensation was still there. It wasn't just, it just wasn't as intense as it was at 1.30 in the morning. My daughter actually woke me up. If she didn't, I would probably still be knocked out. It is now around 9.30. My husband is taking care of our daughter right now, so I'm just relaxing. I do feel some burning sensation. It's just it's bearable for now. I actually have to pick up my antibiotics. I told you guys yesterday that I texted Dr. K because I had to leave like right away from his office back home to pick up my daughter. I'm gonna chill for a little bit. I have a few consultation calls for Dolly Fitness. If you need any custom meal prep or fitness plans, definitely hit me up. I'm gonna leave the link down below. I'll see you guys soon.